All right, exhaust gas pressure sensor codes. They're confusing, the wording is often frustrating, uh, depending on what tool you're using. A lot of times the, the translation will be very poor, sometimes it's out and out wrong. So I'm gonna show you the two different problems that you could have on your performance car and uh, you can check all of it at the same time. So a deleted car needs to have an EGT sensor plugged into the car side that has a blue and yellow wire. See that? If you have it plugged in, this EGT sensor plugged into anything else other than the one with the blue and yellow wire, you're doing it wrong. Just fix it. If that's okay, then your problem is going to be your exhaust gas manifold pressure sensor. That's this thing right here. This sensor can fail. It's not common. What's really common is this hose right here. This hose likes to dry rot and break. Um, one way you can tell real easily if it's original or not is look at the clamp. Um, let's see if we can get that in focus more. You see that, that weird clamp? I'm going to zoom in. That's a one-time use clamp. It can be um, put on somehow by BMW from factory. You can loosen it with a flat blade screwdriver, but you're never going to be able to tighten it back up again. If you have that clamp there, that hose is original and you should replace it as soon as possible because what happens is that hose will dry rot, it'll blow a hole in it, Sometimes it'll burn this up and ruin the sensor. Sometimes it'll melt your vacuum reservoir. Um, between those two problems, that answers pretty much any code you have for exhaust gas uh, codes coming up on your car.